to discuss both the passive as well as active filters. Uh, let us consider a simple RC circuit connected like this. These are my output terminals. Input is connected like this. It's an AC signal. The capacitive impedance uh, is a function of uh, frequency of operation. Hence, for different frequencies, the gain, voltage gain, V out upon V in, will be different. While identifying the type of filter, whether it is high pass, low pass, band pass, or band reject, or all pass, we should identify the response of voltage gain magnitude with respect to frequency, that is omega. Based on that response, we can classify the filters. Here, the impedance corresponding to the capacitor is called ZC and its value is 1 over J omega C. Omega is angular frequency and C is the value of capacitance. This is equal to 1 over SC because S is uh, same as my j omega. From the both circuit, the voltage gain V out upon V in can be obtained using a simple voltage division rule that is capacitive impedance upon total impedance in the circuit. That's equal to 1 over SC divided by R plus 1 over SC. Multiplying numerator and denominator with SC have 1 divided by RSC plus 1. This is also equal to 1 upon J omega RC plus 1. S is J omega. The magnitude of V out by V in is given by 1 over under the square root omega r c all squared plus 1. So the magnitude of voltage gain approaches 1 as omega tends towards 0. Because first term in the square root will be 0 if omega equal to 0. So maximum voltage gain V out upon V in is equal to 1. The voltage gain, its magnitude will be equal to 0 as omega tends to infinity. Omega is in the denominator. So as omega tends to infinity, 1 over infinity will be 0. So the Characteristics between magnitude of voltage gain and omega will look like this. It touches zero at omega equal to infinity and the maximum voltage gain happens at omega equal to zero and its value equal to one. Please note that in a passive circuit, the maximum possible value of voltage gain is 1 or the gain of the circuit will be always less than or equal to 1 because using a passive network we cannot amplify the input signal. The ideal response of a low pass filter will look like this. This is voltage gain, magnitude, and x-axis is omega. And this point is called upper cutoff frequency or omega h. A low pass filter will have upper cutoff frequency. So it's a low pass filter. It will have upper cutoff frequency. The bandwidth 
of a log pass first order filter can be identified easily and that is same as the upper cutoff frequency omega h of my filter the upper cutoff frequency or 3 db frequency is defined as the magnitude of voltage gain falls to 1 by root 2 times of its maximum value maximum value is 1 here so the magnitude will become 1 over root 2 if the second term omega rc the whole square is equal to 1 implies omega rc equals 1 implies the upper cut of frequency omega h equal to 1 by rc so this is 1 by r c c is the value of capacitance and r is the equivalent resistance observed by the capacitor when the independent voltage sources in the circuit shorter to ground so capacitor observes a value r so 1 over rc is the upper cutoff frequency using a similar kind of circuit with inductor L and R in series. In let us check whether it is a low pass filter or mega and magnitude of voltage K. The inductive impedance L is given by G omega L or S L. The voltage gain V out upon V in is a simple voltage division rule again r upon j omega l plus r that's equal to dividing both numerator and denominator with r 1 upon 1 plus j omega l upon r the magnitude of voltage gain v out upon v in magnitude is given by 1 upon under the square root 1 plus omega l by r is the whole square and magnitude of voltage gain is equal to 1 at mega equal to 0 and magnitude of voltage gain is equal to 0 at omega is equal to infinite so the response will look like at omega equal to 0 gain is 1 and it falls reaches 0 at omega equal to infinity maximum gain is 1 it's a low pass filter a low pass filter will have upper cut of frequency defined as the frequency at which magnitude of voltage gain will decreases to 1 by root 2 times of its maximum value for that the second term inside the bracket should be equal to 1 implies omega L upon R equal to 1 implies mega equal to R upon L. Again, if you have R1 in series with L, the equivalent impedance observed by the inductor is the series combination of R1 and R. So, if you have a circuit like this, L, R1, R2, the maximum voltage gain is the voltage gain when omega equal to 0. At omega equal to 0, the inductor acts as a short circuit. My equal to 0 is a DC condition. Inductor is short for a DC. So, in the earlier case, if this is short, V out is same as V in. So, the ratio of V out by V in is always 1. We got a maximum gain. Similarly, if the circuit is like this, at a may equal to 0, inductor acts as a short circuit. So, the circuit has only two resistors. So, V out by V in is given by simple voltage division rule R2 upon R1 plus R2. 
So in the second circuit, the maximum voltage gain is R2 upon R1 plus R2. And as omega tends to infinity, the inductor acts as an open circuit because its impedance is G omega L. As omega tends to infinity, impedance will be infinity, open circuit. So there is no connection between input and output or this branch is open, zero ampere current flows. Right side branch is also open, implies there is no current through R. So V out equal to zero. Similarly, as omega tends to infinity, the inductor acts as an open circuit. No current flows through R2, no drop across R2. So the magnitude of voltage gain equal to zero at omega equal to infinity. And in the second case, the upper cutoff frequency omega h is again r by l, but that r should be replaced with r1 plus r2 because if you are shutting your input voltage source and if the inductor feels a resistance of R1 and R2 in series divided by the end. So omega H will shift towards right if you are going for second circuit. But the voltage gain also reduces to R2 upon R1 plus R2 compared to A1. R2 upon R1 plus R2. If we are going with the other circuit, capacitor followed by a resistor, ratio of voltage gain is given by R multiplied by R plus ZC that's equal to R upon R plus 1 by J omega C V out upon V in that's equal to dividing numerator and denominator with R 1 plus 1 over G mega R C. The magnitude of voltage gain is given by 1 over under the square root 1 plus 1 by mega R C the whole squared. Hence the voltage gain magnitude is equal to 1 at mega equal to infinity magnitude of voltage gain is equal to 0 at mega equal to 0 because 1 over 0 will be infinity 1 over infinity will be 0 so the response will look like well, is 1 at omega equal to infinity and it decreases, decreases, decreases and becomes 0 at mega equal to 0. The maximum possible gain occurs at omega equal to infinity, its value is 1. This is also trivial from the circuit as omega tends to infinity, capacitor acts as a short circuit, its impedance is 1 over j omega c as omega tends to infinity impedance will become zero short circuit so v out equal to v in for dc signals omega equal to zero capacitor act as an open circuit one over g omega c is the impedance omega equal to zero one over zero infinity open circuit no current flows into the output node it's open the capacitor is also open now, no current into the left side branch. 
implies no current flows through R. So no drop across R. So V out will be zero at omega equal to zero. So it's a high pass filter because gain increases as frequency increases. High pass filter will have lower cutoff frequency omega L or FL. So that lower cutoff frequency is defined as the frequency at which gain decreases to 1 by root 2 times of the maximum gain. Maximum gain is 1. For that, the second term inside the bracket should be equal to 1. 1 over omega RC equal to 1. Implies omega equal to 1 over RC. That omega is called omega L. Lower cutoff frequency. If you have two resistors and a capacitor connected like this with V in, V out, R1, R2, C. Again, as omega tends to infinity, capacitor acts as a short circuit. So the circuit will look like this. Capacitor act as a short circuit. So the magnitude of voltage gain V out upon V in V in is simple division between R2 and R1. So R2 divided by R1 plus R2. That is anyway less than 1. At omega equal to 0, capacitor act as an open circuit. As earlier, no current flows through R2. Because this branch is open, this branch is open, no current through R2. So, no voltage drop across R2 implies V out equal to 0. So, magnitude of V out upon V in is 0 at mega equal to 0. So, it's a high pass filter and the cutoff frequency is same again as 1 over R C and this R is to be replaced with an equivalent resistance observed by the capacitor with V in shorted R1, R2. So if you are looking into the terminals of capacitor, these two resistors are in series because same current flows through this. If a voltage source is connected across the open terminals, across the capacitor, so R1 and R2 are in series, so we'll add up. So R will become R1 plus R2 times C is my lower cutoff frequency, mega L. Same circuit can be implemented by connecting an inductor like this. An L in J mega L inductive impedance upon R plus J mega L. That's equal to dividing numerator and denominator with J omega L. So R upon J omega L plus 1. The magnitude of voltage gain is equal to 1 upon under the square root real term square that is 1 squared plus coefficient of imaginary term that is R upon omega L all squared and magnitude of voltage gain is equal to 0 at mega is equal to 0 because 1 over 0 will be infinity. 
so 1 over infinity will be 0 and the magnitude of voltage gain v out upon v in at omega equal to infinity mega equal to infinity r upon infinity will be 0 so second term inside the square root will be 0 so voltage gain is maximum that's equal to 1 at omega equal to infinity so if you're plotting the response magnitude of voltage gain versus omega at omega equal to infinity the gain is 1 and it decreases 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 and reaches to 0 at mega equal to 0 and the maximum possible gain in the circuit is 1 at omega equal to infinity so it's a response of a high pass filter high pass will filter will have a lower cutoff frequency omega l and it is defined as the frequency at which voltage gain becomes 1 by root 2 times the maximum value for that the second term inside the bracket should be equal to 1 r upon omega l equal to 1 implies omega equal to r by l r by l let us consider another circuit in which I am slightly changing the earlier circuit. I am setting one resistance in series with L. These are my input terminals V in. Let me call it as R1, R2 and L. These are my output terminals. The circuit at omega equal to 0, inductor act as a short circuit, act as a short circuit. So it's a simple voltage division network. V out is equal to R2 upon R1 plus at omega is equal to infinity the inductance act as an open circuit because its impedance is g omega l mega tends to infinity impedance would become infinity the inductor act as an open circuit r1 r2 v out Here both branches connected to the output node are open 0 ampere 0 ampere at omega equal to infinity hence the current flowing through this R1 is also 0 ampere this is input source V in so there is no drop across R1 so V out is same as V in so V out is the same as V in if we are plotting the characteristics between omega and magnitude of voltage gain at omega equal to zero its value this is multiplied by v in its value is v out by v in equal to r2 upon r1 plus r2 And as omega increases, V out by V in increases and it touches a 1 at omega is equal to infinity. And the maximum gain is 1 and the minimum gain of the circuit is at omega equal to 0 at equal to R2 upon R1 plus R2 and that is less than 1. 
So this circuit has a response of high pass filter as frequency increases the magnitude of V out upon V in also increases. Since it is a high pass filter it has a lower cutoff frequency omega L and that frequency is defined as the frequency at which gain of the circuit or V out by V in magnitude becomes 1 by root 2 times the maximum gain. Maximum gain is 1 and the corresponding frequency is called lower cutoff frequency. This value as R2 upon R1 plus R2. And the omega L is not equal to, the lower cutoff frequency is not equal to R1 plus R2 upon L because the cutoff frequency, lower cutoff frequency of this circuit was R by L and you are adding a second resistance in series with uh, the inductance. Here the output was across uh, inductance. In the second circuit we are adding a resistance in series so output is now across the series combination of inductor and a resistor. So you cannot directly write omega L by replacing R with R1 plus R2 because the output node to ground having R plus J omega L impedance initially it was J omega L only. So this is wrong. Instead you should write the transfer function of the circuit that is V out upon V in of omega then take its magnitude and equate that value to maximum gain divided by root 2 maximum gain is 1 then solve for that omega that omega will be your omega L. Well, let's do that. Here I will call this impedance as R2 plus G omega L. So V out upon V in is equal to R2 plus G omega L upon total impedances that is R1 plus R2 plus G omega L. Its magnitude is the magnitude of this that should be equal to 1 by root 2. Then that omega is called omega L. Lower cut of frequency. So taking the magnitude under the square root R2 squared plus omega L the whole square upon R1 plus R2 real term the whole squared plus omega L the imaginary term all squared under the root. That's equal to 1 by root 2 at omega equal to lower cutoff frequency omega L. Scoring both sides we have 2 times R2 square plus omega L the whole square equals R1 plus R2 the whole square plus omega L the whole one R2 plus R2 squared plus omega L the whole square implies R2 square 
plus omega L the whole square equals R1 square plus 2 R1 R2. This implies omega L the whole square equals R1 square minus R2 square plus 2 R1 R2 minus R2 square plus 2 R1 R2 upon L. As earlier, if R2 is equal to 0, the circuit look like this. We should get R upon L or R1 upon L if R2 equal to 0. If R2 equal to 0, this term will be 0, this term will be 0. R1 square under the root R1 itself. So, we will get R1 upon L or R upon L. So, this is called lower cutoff frequency mega L. And that is not equal to R1 plus R2 upon L. That's all about passive filters. Now let us discuss active filters using op amp. So let us have two different circuits, both uses the negative feedback negative positive V in R C V out another circuit I am replacing the capacitor with an inductor and I'm using same connections. Negative feedback, positive, grounded, and my input source L R. Let us identify the type of filter at omega equal to zero. Capacitor act as an open circuit. Open circuit. Then the circuit will look like this. It's an open loop configuration. This is open. R grounded. Since it is open, the output can be either at positive saturation plus VCC or at minus VCC depending on the polarity of V in. So we will say that the voltage gain of the circuit is infinity because if supply voltages are at plus or minus infinity, you will get an output of plus infinity or minus infinity. Right, so for the circuit in general, we we'll say that the voltage gain is very very high. For a small millivolt range of we will get a plus 10, plus 15. So voltage gain is ideally infinity. So magnitude of voltage gain is infinity. At omega equal to infinity, infinity. Capacitor act as a short circuit. So V out by V in magnitude will become zero because if capacitor is short circuit, negative positive ground. Capacitor is short circuit, there exists a feedback. V in R since there exists a negative feedback V plus equal to V minus is valid V plus is 0 V minus is also should be at 0 due to the negative feedback V minus is connected to V out so V out is equal to 0 
whereas in the earlier circuit when capacitor is open there is no feedback hence V plus not equal to V minus it is an open loop configuration V plus equal to V minus is not valid so if you are plotting the response of magnitude of V out upon V in V out upon V in versus make a at omega equal to zero voltage gain is infinity and as omega tends to infinity voltage gain decreases to zero so it is having a notch of low pass response so it is a low pass filter we cannot define the cutoff frequencies because the maximum gain is infinity if you are looking at the second circuit at omega equal to zero the inductor act as a short circuit hence v out equal to zero because if the inductor is shorted negative positive ground resistance shorted v plus equal to v minus is valid because of this negative feedback v plus is equal to zero v minus is also equal to zero hence v out is also equal to zero hence v out upon v in is zero as omega tends to infinity inductor act as an open circuit so the circuit will look like this open loop configuration open it is v in r v plus not equal to v minus because there is no feedback in the circuit so for a small input signal output can be large either at plus vcc or minus vcc because it is an open loop configuration so v out by v in is infinity if you are plotting magnitude of voltage gain versus omega at omega equal to infinity the gain is infinity and the gain decreases to zero at omega equal to zero and here also we cannot define the cutoff frequencies it's an high pass filter because gain increases as omega increases high pass filter will have a lower cutoff frequency but the maximum gain is infinity so we cannot define lower cutoff frequency so this is a low pass filter or it is called an integrator this is a high pass filter or it is called a, a differentiator let us interchange the positions of r and c in the first circuit let us see what will happen we in capacitor here a band negative positive grounded negative feedback resistance here we out we in and in the second case um, in the changing the positions of inductor and resistor R L V in negative positive ground at omega equal to zero the capacitor act as an open circuit 
so we have open followed by circuit negative positive grounded there exists a feedback without R hence V plus equal to V minus is valid because there exists a negative feedback through the resistor there is no current into the up amp there is no current to the up amp hence there is no current flows through R there is no drop across R V plus equal to V minus so this potential is at 0 volts hence V out is also equal to 0 volt so V out upon V in its magnitude equal to 0 at mega equal to 0 as omega tends to infinity capacitor act as a short circuit negative positive grounded V in R V out as the capacitor is short the voltage at inverting node of my up amp is V in itself that is independent of V out so I would say there is no feedback signal potential at inverting input is not affected by the output signal it is exactly equal to V in if capacity is shorted so V plus not equal to V minus no feedback or it is an open loop configuration so voltage gain is infinity so at omega is infinity magnitude of voltage gain magnitude of voltage gain is infinity so if we are plotting the characteristics between V out upon V in its magnitude and omega at omega equal to 0 V out is equal to 0 as omega tends to infinity gain increases and goes to infinity so it's a kind of a high pass filter but as the maximum gain is infinity we cannot define the lower cutoff frequency of the given high pass filter coming to the last case at omega equal to 0 the inductor act as a short circuit V in negative positive grounded resistance in the feedback loop R V out here also the potential at V minus node is fully decided by the input source voltage V in the output signal V, v out don't have any role in fixing the voltage at inverting input hence I would say there is no negative feedback hence V plus not equal to V minus so it is an open loop configuration hence the voltage gain voltage gain is infinity the output will be either at plus VCC or minus VCC for a small value of V in so it's a saturated condition with infinite voltage gain hence V out upon V in 
its magnitude is infinity at omega equal to infinity the inductor act as an open circuit negative positive feedback through the resistor or be out the resistor feedback through the resistance r hence v plus equal to v minus is valid in the circuit v plus is equal to zero hence v minus is also at zero there is no current flowing into the op amp there is no current flowing to the open circuit hence there is no current flowing through r there is no drop across r hence this potential and this potential are same because there is no difference between these two nodes hence v out equal to 0 volt that implies v out upon v in its magnitude equal to 0 at mega equal to infinity so if you are plotting the response mega versus v out upon v in magnitude at omega equal to 0 the gain is infinity and gain goes to 0 as omega tends to infinity so it is having a response of low pass filter so it acts as a low pass filter it has an upper cut of frequency but that is not defined because the maximum gain is infinity this is called integrator this is called differentiator high pass filter again high pass filter it is called differentiator low pass filter it is called integrator if we are clubbing our R C network with op amp we can develop respective filters let us consider the simple example C R R2 there is a negative feedback so V plus equal to V minus is valid if the capacitor is not short circuit irrespective of the status of my capacitor either short or open there exists a negative feedback always because the potential at inverting input is desired by the output signal v out hence v plus equal to v minus is valid always all frequencies because r2 is a frequency independent element so at omega equal to zero capacitor act as an open circuit so the circuit will look like this Pam, positive negative feedback through r2 r v in there is no current into the pam there is no current through the open hence the current flowing through r is zero zero voltage drop this is at zero volts and this is also at zero volts v plus equal to v minus always this is also at zero volt there is no current into the op amp hence there is no current flowing through r2 there is no drop across r2 so v out is same as this node potential because the potential difference between these two nodes is equal to zero so v out equal to zero so magnitude of v out upon v in is equal to zero at mega equal to zero 
Uh, let us take another extreme condition that is at mega equal to infinity. Capacitor act as a short circuit. So the circuit will look like this R capacitor act as a short circuit V in resistance R2 V out. So V plus is always equal to V in. As I said, V plus is always equal to V minus due to the negative feedback. This signal is a function of V out that implies the feedback is negative. V plus equal to V minus. V plus is same as your V in. V minus is also should be same as your V in. There is no current into the up amp, hence there is no current flows through R2. There is no drop across R2. So V out is same as V in. So at omega infinity, V out equal to V in. At omega equal to zero, V out equal to zero. So if you are plotting this, we will get a curve like this. Maximum gain is one at omega equal to infinity. Of course, the maximum gain is defined. It's not equal to infinity. So it will have a lower cutoff frequency. Lower cutoff frequency is same as the lower cutoff frequency of the circuit connected to non-inverting input. So that is nothing but 1 over RC. So here the voltage gain, maximum voltage gain is limited to 1 again, similar to my passive filters. If you would like to increase the voltage gain, you can add one more resistance here. If the circuit is like this, R1 and R2, C and R, V in, this node is grounded, V out. As we discussed earlier, at omega equal to zero, Capacitor act as an open circuit. So the voltage V plus voltage as this node is same as zero. It's a non-inverting amplifier. Its output is always equal to V plus multiplied by one plus R2 upon R1. Initially R1 was infinity. So V out was equal to V plus only. So at omega equal to zero capacity is open, V plus equal to zero, hence V out by V in is also equal to zero. At omega equal to infinity, capacity act as a short circuit, hence V plus is same as my V in, hence V out is equal to V plus multiplied by 1 plus R2 by V plus is same as my V in. So V out upon V in, its magnitude is equal to 1 plus R2 upon R1. So the gain is increased from 1 to 1 plus R2 by R1. By varying R1 and R2, you can fix gain greater than 1. Initially, R1 was open. This was open, open circuit, R1 was not present, open circuit, R1 is infinity, R2 upon infinity, second time will be zero, and the voltage gain will be one itself as earlier. Here, the voltage gain is increased to one plus R2 by R1. So if you are plotting the characteristics, the minimum gain is zero, and the maximum gain at omega equal to infinity is 1 plus R2 upon R1. And the lower cutoff frequency 1 by Rc. So if you are connecting the op amp, the nature of circuit is desired by the nature of Rc network connected to positive input. This is a high pass network or high pass filter. So the end of circuit act as a 
high pass filter and the cutoff frequency is decided by the RC network not by the op amp op amp we are taking it as an ideal and you can vary this R and C positions if you are interchanging the positions of R and C in the circuit it acts as a low pass filter with the upper cutoff frequency omega h equal to 1 over rc as in the case of passive filters the only difference is you can vary the gain beyond 1 by fixing r1 and r2 if the op amp is connected as shown here negative positive ground negative feedback and here is my input signal C R R2 identify the type of it's quite simple as we did earlier R to mega equal to zero capacitor act as an open circuit so the circuit will look like this negative positive to ground feedback R2 as we discussed earlier there is no current into the op amp there is no current into the open and there is no current through R2 there is no drop across R2 so V out is same as V plus and in this circuit negative feedback is present so V plus equal to V minus is valid always irrespective of the status of the capacitor because there exists a feedback negative feedback through R2 always so V out equal to V plus hence V plus is connected to 0 hence V minus is also 0 hence V out is also equal to 0 because V plus equal to V minus is valid so at omega equal to 0 my voltage gain magnitude is equal to at omega equal to infinity the capacitor act as a short circuit R op amp positive to ground feedback R2 out At omega equal to infinity, capacitor acts as a short circuit. So it's our favorite inverting amplifier. So V out is equal to minus R2 upon R times the input signal. Hence V out by V in equal to R2 by R with a negative sign magnitude of V out upon V in is R2 upon R. Hence, if you are plotting the behavior of voltage gain versus omega, V out upon V in magnitude. At omega equal to 0, gain is 0. Gain increases and reaches a magnitude R2 upon R at omega equal to infinity so it touches r2 upon r as omega tends to infinity it's a response of high pass filter because the network here is having a nature of high pass capacity is in series it acts as a short circuit high frequencies and its cutoff frequency Mega L is same as 1 by R times C that is decided by these two that can be easily verified by writing V out expression that is minus R2 upon total impedance here that is R plus J X C times V in hence V out by V in 
is minus R2 upon R plus X is 1 over omega C so J divided by omega taking the magnitude magnitude of V out by V in is equal to R2 upon under the square root R square plus 1 by omega C the whole square and the maximum gain is R2 by R so I am taking R2 by R common R2 on numerator divided by I am taking R square term out so square term of R square under the square root 1 plus 1 over omega R C all squared this R2 by R is the voltage gain at omega equal to infinity as omega tends to infinity 1 over infinity will be 0 second time will be 0 so we will end up with R2 upon R magnitude of voltage gain and as omega tends to 0 1 over 0 this end that term in the bracket will be infinity and something over infinity will be 0 and the lower cutoff frequency is defined as gain will become 1 over root 2 times the maximum gain maximum gain is a 2 upon r so this end term inside the root should be 2 for that 1 by omega r c should be equal to 1 implies omega l equal to 1 over r c directly you can write it by observing these two values if you are observing another kind of circuit with r and c connected like this in the feedback loop and input side I have resistance R this is my input signal source V in positive input is grounded let us consider two extreme cases at mega equal to zero capacitor act as an open circuit so my circuit will look like this capacitor is open R2 R1 V out it's our favorite inverting amplifier and magnitude of voltage gain is nothing but R2 upon at omega equal to infinity the capacitor act as a short circuit hence my circuit will look like negative positive ground V in R1, R2. This is also a favorite inverting amplifier with R2 equal to 0 because the capacitor short the presence of R2. So effectively it acts as a short circuit. A short across a resistance act as a short so R2 is equal to 0 effectively so magnitude of voltage gain with R2 equal to 0 implies 0 so if you are plotting the relation between magnitude of voltage gain and omega omega at omega infinity you will have a maximum gain its value is R2 by R1 I am talking about magnitude R2 by R1 as omega tends to infinity it degrades to 0 voltage gain decreases to 0 it acts as a low pass filter of course it will have upper cutoff frequency omega h 
that's equal to 1 by R to C this resistance and this capacitance and the same value can be obtained by writing the transfer function of the circuit that is it is an inverting amplifier so magnitude of voltage gain is equal to these two are in parallel I'm calling it as ZP so ZP upon R1 its magnitude and you can calculate ZP easily capacitive impedance is 1 by J omega C or SC in parallel with R2 that's equal to 1 by SC or 1 by J omega C multiplied by R2 divided by R2 plus 1 by SC so that's equal to R2 upon R2 SC plus 1 and there is a value of ZP and the magnitude of voltage gain is magnitude of ZP upon R1 that is R2 by R1 times 1 plus R2 Cs. So the maximum gain is R2 divided by R1 that you can separate multiplied by 1 by I should take the magnitude so inside the square root 1 plus S is G omega so the magnitude is omega square C square R2 square or omega R to C the whole square the cutoff frequency defined as 1 by root 2 times the maximum gain maximum gain is R2 upon R1 so this term should be equal to 2 inside the root the term should be equal to 2 that implies omega R2 C equal to 1 and that omega is called omega H its value is 1 by R2 C as expected omega H 1 by R2 C this resistance and this capacitance if you are observing a slightly different circuit don't worry apply what you have learned so far suppose you are driving a circuit using current source let me mark it as is grounded grounded and in the feedback loop we have two components inductor in parallel with a resistor L and R let us identify the type of filter here the inductor L is a frequency dependent element its impedance will vary as frequency of operation varies or frequency of source IS so in the circuit always there exists a negative feedback due to the presence of R inductor can be either short or open but the presence of R ensures a negative feedback always so V plus equal to V minus is valid always that is from omega equal to 0 to infinity at omega equal to 0 the inductor act as a short circuit so the circuit will look like this current source IS resistor inductor act as a short circuit so effectively the branch act as a short because a short in shunt with R act as a short V plus equal to V minus is always valid in the circuit so V plus is at 0 V minus is also at 0 
this is shorted not drop across the short so the same potential is available here v out equal to zero at omega equal to zero v out upon v in or the source is current here so v out up upon is equal to zero at omega is equal to infinity the inductor act as an open circuit so the circuit will look like this i s grounded r2 resistance r inductor act as an open circuit out and open across a resistance is equivalent to a resistance itself there exists a negative feedback hence v plus equal to v minus is valid v plus is at 0 volt v minus is also at 0 volt there is no current into the op amp hence the is also flows through the resistance r that creates a voltage drop across r its value is current multiplied by the resistance is multiplied by the resistance this node voltage is marked as v out that v out minus this drop i should get a zero so i can write it as v out minus that drop is is multiplied by r that should be equal to zero this is v out minus this drop equal to this potential with respect to ground that is zero implies v out equal to is multiplied by r hence v out upon is its magnitude is r so if you are plotting the graph between V out upon IS its magnitude and omega at omega equal to zero that value is zero it increases and at omega equal to infinity it reaches a value R it is having a nature of a high pass filter gain v out upon is increases as frequency increases so high pass filter of course it will have a lower cut of frequency mega l and that is defined as 1 by root 2 times the maximum value r that can be easily identified by replacing the parallel branch with one impedance let me call that impedance as z Z current source IS ground the same current flows through this Z IS so there is a drop in this polarity IS multiplied by Z V plus is always equal to V minus due to the negative feedback this is at 0 V plus V minus is also at 0 volt if you are subtracting IS multiplied by Z from V out you should get a 0 v out minus is z equals 0 v out minus is multiplied by z equals 0 by is equal to z magnitude of v out upon is equal magnitude of z and z is nothing but the parallel combination of inductor and a resistor inductance impedance is j omega l or s l in parallel with r so s l multiplied by r divided by r plus s l the maximum gain of the circuit is r dividing numerator and denominator and taking the magnitude it will be r upon 1 
plus R by SL its magnitude that's equal to R upon under the square root S is J omega so one square real term plus imaginary term is R divided by omega L the whole square so the maximum gain is R so the omega L is nothing but the maximum gain becomes R by root 2 implies the term under the square root should be equal to 2 that implies R by omega L equal to 1 implies omega is equal to R by L and that omega is called lower cut of frequency omega L and that L and R comes from this circuit.